Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is uh, I'm making a little tutorial guide for you guys for um, C programming. I'm going to start off with a uh, basic program, just uh, print statements, uh, scans, scanning for input. It's basic C program. So first off, we're going to do um, we're going to start with importing the library necessary for this. So I'll do a pound include uh, and nest um, stdio.h in these little brackets here, you see. That basically stands for standard input and output. Okay, after that, I'm going to start making my main function. It's called an int main. Okay. And your main function is basically uh, where the program first tries to find when you start when you compile it and run it. So you go to your main function. I'm calling this an int. Simply because it's returning an int value, but we're not really returning anything, so it doesn't really matter. Now, to do a basic print statement, right? All you're going to do is use a printf function. Simply printf, and then you nest the brackets, and nest that inside uh, some quotation marks. So, whatever, hello world. You should end that with a semicolon, that's it. And then since it's a function, it says int main. I have to return an int, but I'm not really returning anything that's, that's, that means anything, so I'm sure it turns zero. Um, after you compile this, you'll get whatever the message is, hello world. Now I'm going to change it up a bit. Now I'm going to do um, some input, some user input. So Similar to the printf, the user input, to get user input from the, from the user, you have to use scanf. So scanf. Right now, I need a, I need actually uh, a variable now. So let's make a user input variable. So I'll do um, int. I'm making an int because int's easier. See, so you don't need pointers or anything. Let's do an int. Make the user input an int. So let's put um, user input go zero. Doesn't really have to. You don't have to make it anything or whatever. Just make it zero. Okay. Now for the scanf. Um, there's different prefixes for each type of variable. I'm using an integer right now. So I'll have to use percent %d in order to get user input for this. So I'll nest the percent %d inside some braces. Oh, sorry, inside a brace and um, quotations here. I'll put a comma right after it, right? After the comma, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, an add percent. Um, this, this basically notates what uh, that percent %d goes to. Basically where that percent %d is going to place its value in. If you don't have that add percent, the percent %d is not going anywhere. It'll take it, but it won't throw it anywhere. If you throw it somewhere, you need that as user input. So you do percent, uh, percent user input. Okay, you're going to finish that off just with a bracket and then a semicolon. And I want, now I want to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this, I'm going to fix this print statement and I'm going to make a display whatever the user enters. Uh, in this case, it's an integer. So, um, then again, you just use percent %d again, right again. And instead of the add percent, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put user input because you already know what it is. And from the scanf, the, the percent %d, that's going towards user input. And uh, the and percent means throw it in there. Now, when you're printing it, you're, it's already in there, right? So, it's just simply user input. Okay, the beginning of this statement. What if statements do, you guys probably know what it is if you're in a programming. Basically, a condition statement. Uh, basically, if this is true, then execute this. If not, execute this. You know what I mean? That's if statement. So, a bunch of variables. Let's do um, int x. Int x equals 0. I'm going to do int y equals 23. Let's do um, int z. Is equal to what's that? Let's make it z equal to what five? Okay, fine. Basically, it evaluates different types of uh, situations or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Different uh, conditions, you know. So I'll do an if. So if x is less than y, right? If x is less than y. So I'm just gonna do an if, right? And then I'll do a bracket, and then whatever the condition is. X is less than Y. Um, 
if x is less than y, then something will happen. So we'll do printf. Now print what x and y is. Let's see how we can do this. Okay, percent d, percent e, right? Is this percent x is percent e, and y is percent d. So we'll do a new line here, new line character, and then uh, finish up the uh, the quotations, and then I'll put each of the um, the two variables on music. So it's in chronolo chronological order, right? You have x is percent d and y is percent d. You notice that they're both the same, they're both percent d. But what makes a difference is after your comma, that's you have to put in order what whatever you want to show up. So if you put you put a y after the comma, it'll say x is 23. You don't want that. So you want to put x after the comma. So what are you going to do for that? You're going to put x. And then, and then you another, another comma and you put y. Okay, let's see how that turned out. Okay. So, so if x, basically it's plain English. If x is less than y, I'm going to print something that says x is whatever x is, which is 0, and y is 23. Now let's do something different. If the top, if that's not true, if x is not greater than y, it'll go this else if. Else if is basically says if the above is not true, do the do this, do this, do the next, do the next uh, condition, test the next condition. So else if, so else if, uh, let's say uh, do z is um, greater than greater than uh, greater than y. Let's do that. Z is greater than Y. And instead of have these pre-made variables, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have user input. I don't want this pre-made stuff. I don't want this. Let's make it pre-made. Let's make everything pre-made. So I want the user to input all the numbers. So I want the user to do this, okay? So I'll do uh I'll do a scan F, right? Uh, I'll do three percent D's all simultaneous. So percent D, percent D, percent D. This does the exact same thing. So percent D, percent D, percent D. You're going to close that with uh, quotations and nest and quotations, and you're going to put a comma right after, and then your three variables. I still have to declare them. I shouldn't have done that. I should declare the variables. So X, zero, you can do this, whatever you want. Y, Z, equals zero. So I set them all to zero. In order to take input, you need, you need your variables to decline and declare. So after that, I'm do one x, y, z. Easy, done. So let's do it. If x is less than y, print f x is this and y is this. X and y, else this. Okay. And the return statement. Return statement is very critical. Uh, um, okay, so if x is less than y, okay, that makes sense, okay, that makes sense. The else if, right? Your else if has to also be nested. They all have to be nested. Well, it's different for an else statement, but for else ifs, it must be nested. Because there's always, there will always be an else, uh, an else statement, there will always be a final statement after the else if. You can't end in an else if. Your final statement in an if statement will be an else. You can't end in an else if. So, if uh, z is greater than y, um, let's just say whatever printf, uh, printf, percent d is greater greater than percent d. Okay, z is in y. Okay, nest that in your brackets. Okay, and let's do an else. Let's do a final statement. So if every what else what the else says is any um, condition above it within the if within the beginning of the if any condition between the if and the else is not true. So we're saying if x is greater than y and and uh, z is less than y, none of those will run. None of these printf statements will run. 
what happens, it goes right to the else. And you don't need another nested um, uh, French brace if it's only one line. But we'll try to let's try to this bad coding. So this code property, and we'll nest it anyways. So we'll say printf. None of the above is true. None of the above is true. Basically.